Manchester United are now unbeaten in 17 games. Bournemouth, Brighton, Norwich, Sheffield United, Aston Villa all brushed aside. And that game tonight there, 3-0 against Aston Villa, I swear. I'm not even sure we got out of second gear there. What a comfortable performance we saw from Manchester United. And the sort of performance that maybe we would have expected from United in their pomp. You know, when we looked at the game week and we saw that we were playing Norwich or Sheffield or Brighton. And we thought, three points for United. It feels like a long time since I thought that. But I went into that game today, and I'll admit that, I went into that game today against Aston Villa and I thought, three points. And the team did not disappoint. Bruno Fernandes with the penalty there to get United going. I thought that was a penalty, you might disagree, but you know, that's, I suppose, your decision. Then Mason Greenwood coming up with the second goal. Then Paul Pogba getting on the score sheet with an assist from Bruno Fernandes. United there rarely needed to get out of second gear, but United got the three points and we're building and building and building and building. One win on top of the other. And just, look, come on. I would love to hear in the comments below a negative about United right now. We are the most informed team in the Premier League. I always thought, and I kept saying this, and I will keep saying this, I thought that the coronavirus break would have helped United to build cohesion among the squad. For Paul Pogba to get to understand Bruno Fernandes, for, for Marcus Rashford to come back into the squad from his injury, for him to settle alongside Martial and Greenwood and, and everybody else and Matic and McTominay. But United have far exceeded my own expectations. United right now are the most informed team in the Premier League and we're getting better. We are getting better. There's no way, there's no other way to describe it. 3-0 against Aston Villa. Smashed Bournemouth 5-2. Beat Sheffield United 3-0. Beat Brighton 3-0. Eight changes. Beat Norwich. United are swatting teams aside like they used to. And that's something that I haven't seen in a while. It, you know, you'd, you'd see it once in a while. But then the next game week would bring you back down to earth and you think, ah, oh, that was just, that was a flash in the pan. At this point, at this, sorry, at this point, sorry, it feels like it's, it's more than flash in the pan. It, it's, it's more like a, like a change in mentality that United going into these games are thinking, we're going to win this game and we're going to win this game confidently. And that comes down to the management. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer deserves praise for that. It comes down to the players themselves. Bruno Fernandes, Paul Popper getting on the score sheet today. Come on, Paul Popper. Again, another game where he's just controlled the game from deep, but a game where he stepped up to take centre stage towards the end. And a goal he richly deserved. And Bruno Fernandes sweeping away another penalty. Mason Greenwood, come on. I said it on Twitter, and he's an absolute joke of a player. He is an absolute joke of a player. At 18, to be scoring, not just scoring goals, but to be scoring left foot goals, right foot goals, inside the box, outside the box, with pressure from a defender, with no pressure from, the, from a defender. Mason Greenwood has it all in his locker, and he seems to be taking it all in his stride. It seems like he's ready for the big time. Like it doesn't scare him. Like he's not worried about what's coming next. Mason Greenwood is a star in the making and he's a star right now. I think Ole Gunnar Solskjaer has managed him correctly and United right now are just, everything seems to be going right. And it's not just about the opposition we're playing because we played opposition like this before and we've come unstuck. But as I said, Brighton, Sheffield United, Bournemouth, Aston Villa, Norwich, five teams where on paper you would say United are favourites in each one of those games. But in the last few years, we've learned that what's on paper doesn't necessarily correspond to what happens on the pitch. But in the last five games, it absolutely has. And the worst game in that was the Norwich game. And we changed eight players in an FA Cup game. So, of course, it was going to be difficult. But in the Premier League games, an unchanged 11 in our last four games... Tell me when was the last time that happened. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer has found his starting eleven. He's found the players that he trusts. 
He's found the style that he trusts. And he's just found that whole team, that United team that he trusts. And United right now are flying high. Bring on the end of the season. Right now, United, if we keep on the path we are on, we're getting top four. Regardless of what happens in the Champions League, sorry, not Champions League, the Europa League, dreaming big. But next season, the Champions League, that's what we're aiming towards, where United should be. And Ole Gunnar Solskjaer is drumming that into his players. And for me, the players are responding. Mason Greenwood, sensational. Anthony Martial didn't score today. Doesn't matter. Because we've got goals irrelevant of whether or not Anthony Martial scores or not. It's not like we're relying on one player anymore. We've got so many players in that team that can go and do a job and score. And that's what United are becoming again. We're becoming a team, an absolute unit, where it's not just one person we focus on to have a good game, to have a good performance. It's the whole collective. And that, for me, has to come down to the management, come down to Ole Gunnar Solskjaer and the belief that is coming in this United team. Aston Villa tonight, Jack Grealish, a player that we linked with signing so heavily, disappeared. Wasn't there. No Aston, no Aston Villa player was there. United were. 3-0. Happy days. Another win. Another confident win. Another win that on paper you would expect United to do. But as United fans, we haven't expected to see that too often. But tonight we saw it again. Like we did against Brighton. Like we did against Sheffield United. Bring on the next game. Bring on this new found confidence. It's, it's a newfound confidence for the right reasons. This consistency is something we haven't seen in such a long time. It's goals from all different players across the pitch. Everybody's contributing. And I love this game, as Patrice Everett would say, when I'm watching this United team. Bring on the next game. Bring on Chelsea in the FA Cup semi-final. Let's see what happens there. Because in this form, I'd be surprised if any team in the Premier League could beat us. Let's see what happens next. Let me know what you think with the who is your man of the match in the comments below. Drop a like on the video if you're fancy, but United, another 3-0 win. Oh, come on. You've got to be happy about that. You really do.